but it's never just one thing, right? So if I get somebody to clarify this is a release, right, that release is significant, right? Just like the way a character enters on, on stage, right? And the best, I always tell, again, this start with the classics, right? If I start with how Hamlet enters, how does he enter? You know, well, he's you know, all upset because he's a spoiled little kid, right? And his dad's gone, his mom's fucking his, you know, his, his uncle, you know, he walks in, he enters on stage, and he's trying to what? Be invisible, right? And all great actors, I saw Jude Law do this, right? he just tried to disappear, do you know? But Hamlet's presence is so big that he can't disappear. So, of course, because everyone sees it, because he's so high in the court, he's a prince, right, in the court, it starts to work on him, agitate him. And if you look at the first stanzas of what Shakespeare wrote, there's agitation in there, right? There's problems automatically, you know? And the best example of how to do that was Lawrence Olivier, right? He, in the movie, he walks in and you're just like, oh, this poor spoiled kid, do you know? But you feel him spoiled. You feel the court looking at him. This is the first beat yeah. that we first see him. We see all these things operating, right? And that's what makes a brilliant performance. Because the moment led Olivier to see all these different elements of the character. Just like it did Jude Law. You get me? And I always can tell, you know who's great with entrances? Street. She just, anytime you first see her, right? Devil Wears Prada, horrible movie. But the minute you see her, I'm like, yeah, go, right? She flipped off the coat, she's gone right into the office, and now I'm here. Where's, and it's all real low, right? Where's my coffee? I'm like, oh shit. Do you know what I mean? Like she, you, you get her. It's in her body. She's brilliant at entrances. Blanchett, brilliant at entrances. Mm -hmm. When you first see her at Elizabeth, right? You're just like, oh my God, you're you're just you're suffering, <laughs> you know. And I'm with you because each moment to them is important. It matters. It's significant. It tells them something about the character, the story, their life, the life that created. So a lot of the times, these are people who have high level of technique. Right, Ian McKellen and Richard III. If you see that first move, you know, this now is the winter of our discontent. And he walks, because he's got the hunch, right? And he walks up there and he speaks, but he's looking at everyone. You will all suffer and pay the price for looking at me like a freak. In the first moment, you know, and right there, we're with you. We're with you forever. You know, and I always bring that thing to that level to Denzel in Training Day, mm. in the fucking diner. Oh, you hear, like, he's smiling. Oh, you're the rookie? I'm gonna fuck with you. Mm -hmm. Have a little coffee, how he stirs the coffee. Mm -hmm. Every single behavioral element is specific. Do you know? And that's what makes us, as an audience, go, holy shit, it grips us. Because they didn't stay general, because they knew that that moment was significant to story, because they intellectually tried to utilize not only their brain and analysis, but their imagination and the creation of story, and then they put it into practice because of their technique. So her and I were just talking. She said I should uh, I should mention this to you because I was kind of debating it. But you said don't think about tying your shoe, right? Yeah. But then you said there's a there's a very specific way of doing it, which I agree. He's doing it like the character would do it, right? Well, so look, you... if if I'm thinking about my technique in the creation of the character while I'm playing the character, then I'm gonna the acting's gonna show. Yeah. If I know, okay, yeah, this is what I did. Right, and I practice. This is the whole point of going to a studio, right? To going to class, to keep learning, to keep practicing, right? Um, so I practice my shoe tying, and I practice, I practiced it. But then when it's time to execute, my shoes are tied, yeah, or they're not, <clears throat> and that becomes fun too, right? <laughs> now, now I get up, but I give myself the opportunity to let my talent and creativity take over, as opposed to keeping aware and responsible to my technique as I execute. And that's a real danger. You know, there's that great thing that Anthony Hopkins said, right? That he reads the script a hundred times. That's his technique. Do you know? And I get why. Because he's just, it, it's the words. It's his, where his training is from, right? Royal Dracad uh, Royal, uh, Dracad uh, Royal Dracad uh, Rada. Rada, you work word, word, word word, the significance of a word, how it's connected to 18,000 different things, why you say this, not just in terms of inflection, but rhythm, meter, all these things become very significant. 
So, of course, to him, he's taking in the story in a high, high intellectual, mathematical, crazy way. Do you know? And then he's giving it over to his imagination, to his body, to his intimacy, you know, all from just reading and reading it. So these choices, guys, that you make in terms of trying to understand how to get to a, a, that level of freedom with all the actors that you respect, start by having a technique, then by letting it go. Okay? And that is a very difficult thing to do. It is not easy. And this is, again, why go to class. Okay? In a place of a studio, and this is any studio you go to in New York, Really, any studio you go to in L.A., they want you to get to a place of fluidity, of freedom with character, okay? It is critical. So you're going to learn how to do that at any class. You really are. And this is why people always ask me, well, why aren't you self-promoting enough? I probably should. And I think about it, I probably should. I'm plugging other places. But, <laughs> but because I know that every teacher has something specific and unique to offer, I tell people, go and learn from a lot of different places so you can find a way to make your technique work for you. And that, that really is, to me, what makes great actors. Is they study with a lot of different people. They keep trying to learn. Great artists in general, right? You know, there's, and, and, I, and it always, musicians are great ways to learn that, right? Great musicians play with other musicians. Mm -hmm. yes. They want to play with other musicians because they want to learn something from, an, from another person who took this and took that and did this and did that. Whether it's rock, whether it's jazz, hip hop, dance club, do you know what I mean? It's one of the things I love about Mark Ronson. Mark Ronson produces for a lot of different people. Mm -hmm. You know, he has a jazz background. I remember when he was a DJ in New York, you know, and just spinning tracks. But his, again, musical library is tremendous. Tremendous. This is why you can work with people all the way from Amy Winehouse to Bruno Mars, because he just has a sense of music. It's part of his technique. <coughs> is that clear for everybody? Yeah. So again, the more that you give yourself the opportunity to learn, the easier it is to get the technique, okay? One of the first things when you think about technique has to be story, which is the way in which you approach script, okay? Now, a lot of people have a lot of different ways in which to approach this, but all of them still come down to you have to read it. <laughs> I know, that's shocking, but read it. Read every word. And some actors in this room read just their lines first. Is that reading the script? No, no, no. So the friend who gave me this call yesterday had just read his lines and thought he had read it. So then we start talking about the way in which this character responds. He goes, wait, 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 wait. I haven't read that part. I was like, well, did you read the script? He said, yeah, I read the script. I said, no, 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 did you read the script? I said, yeah, I read the script. I read my lines. And I heard him. He was had full conviction. He's working. He's in the Mark Taper. Working. <laughs> so do not feel like this is, you know, you guys, just because you don't know how to approach text are off, okay? This is a lot of people. So then I said to him, well, there's something that this character talks about when you're not in the scene. And he went, oh yeah, really? <laughs>